Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this uh, lesson, we're going to cover the annotation at inject mocks. So the at inject mocks annotation is um, useful, as the name implies, to do autom automatic dependency injection. So if you recall on the examples that we've been covering so far, uh, you know, using the library service, I've been doing, uh, you know, a form of manual dependency injection where I have the, um, the, the class that I'm interested in testing. Uh, I'm basically using a uh, constructor um, injection to pass in the mocks that I want. So, you know, sometimes this is okay, sometimes it's not okay, so it, you, you might, you know, um, not have access to the class that you want to, that you are using, and you just want to pass a mock into it, or, you know, you just don't want to be right bothered with writing this boilerplate code every time you, you want to pass in a, um, a mock, you have to roll in either your uh, constructor to do dependency injection or a setter. So that's where the at inject a mocks annotation comes in handy. So to demonstrate this, so I'm going to cover the three uh, ways that you can um, that Mokito does dependency injection. So it's just field-based injection, constructor-based injection, and setter-based injection. So the way it works is, so there is an order here. Uh, so um, first, Mokito does tries to do constructor, constructor-based uh, injection. Okay. So that's the first, um, sorry, not spell constructor. That's the first, um, uh, you know, um, injection that Mokito tries. If Mokito cannot find a suitable constructor for the, uh, you know, parameters that you're trying to pass, then it's going to use a setter-based, uh, you know, injection. Um, and for each mock that you're trying to pass in, and if that fails, then it's just going to use, you know, field-based uh, injection. Okay. And um, for each of these, um, you know, ways, uh, Mokito does injection based on types. And if it finds that there is more than one type, uh, more than one field, I should say, um, in the class under test with the same type, then it uses the name to, to basically resolve the conflict. And, you know, I'm going to show you how to do this. And this is why, by the way, the, um, you know, at mock annotation that I'm going to show you takes a, a, a name parameter. To resolve this kind of cla name clashes, so we're going to cover each of these three um, dependency injections um, that Mokito provides in turn. So I have here a generic service, um, uh, you know, class which is the class under test that has two fields. So it has the a DAO and has a logger. And recall the DAO, you know, basically, uh, you know, a simple implementation fetch book by ID and so on. And the logger, you know, just logs. Uh, whatever you uh, pass to it, you know, to uh, standard output, okay? So this generic service is implemented in terms of these two objects, and it has a method fetch book by ID, where you pass an ID, it fetches, it uses DAO to fetch the book, and then it basically just logs the book title to standard output, and then it returns the book. So generic service is the class under test that I want to test, and the, the one I'm going to be using to illustrate the... Um, you know, inject, inject uh, mock annotation, okay? So let's create a test for it. So here we have the test. Let's put the class next to us, move right, so that we can, you know, see what we're going to do here. So first, let's write the test method to see what actually we will need. So um, what I'm going to be doing is, obviously, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to need an instance of the service. So <coughs> let's create the... Um, uh, you know, the generic service field here. Let's make it private. So let's call service. This is the main service I want. Okay. And um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be called fetch book with ID. Again, let's use the uh, ubiquitous 42. Okay. And, um, you know, let's get the book back. And basically, you know, let's assert that the um, book that we get um, 
is uh, let's see core matchers is core matcher uh, equal to the uh, library service there is a, a default book here okay let's assert that this is uh, true and um, you know let's basically uh, had static imports here to make this stuff more readable and um, okay so this is the first thing we would like to do so we call the method on the class under test we get a book back and we'd like to assert that that's the book that we want so notice that um, okay so that's it right so now <coughs> the obviously the generic service takes a DO and a logger and we want to mock those so let's use the mock annotation and let's create a private library service DAO and let's create another mock uh, private uh, and that's going to be the logger service okay and let's just create it let's just name it logger okay so we have here our two uh, mocks the DAO and the logger and basically um, you know we don't want to be bothered by you know writing here either a setter or a constructor so we just want Mokito to inject, you know, these two mocks into our component under test. So to do that, the only thing you need to do is you just need to write uh, inject mocks, okay? And also, um, you know, we have to add the um, initialization of the mocks. So recall that in the previous example, um, we had this implementation, so I don't bother uh, implementing it here. So we basically have to initialize our mocks like that. So that's pretty much the only thing we need, right? We need to, um, you know, annotate each of our mocks with the at mock annotation. The actual class that's going to take that those mocks, uh, you know, we target with inject mocks, and then we initialize it, you know, in the before each factory method to initialize the mocks. Okay. So in this case, what's going to happen is because there is no constructor in this class nor a setter. Um, Mokito will do field-based injection. Okay, so now obviously uh, a DAO we're gonna have uh, this method calls fetch book by ID on the DAO, so we're gonna have to stop that method. So when the um, uh, DAO fetch fetch book by ID, uh, we can say you know with value forty-two, then we would like to let's just import this then we'd like to return the um, default book okay so we have this method stubbed and um, we call the main method here which returns the book and we are doing our search in here and we could do a verification of the um, you know logger service we could verify that the logger uh, you know has been called the log method has been called um, you know again with any uh, string okay so notice that the only thing that we are really doing here is we're just you know writing the test method that we want we're not bothered with creating mock or you know providing a, a way to inject the mocks we're just tagging things as we need we need to mocks we need to inject those mocks into this class and that's it we initialize it here and we just focus on writing our test okay so let's write this. Uh, let's run this thing and see if it passes. So as you can see, it passed. Okay, um, you know which proves that our example works. So that this is using um, field-based injection, and this is my preferred way because you know I don't need to roll in a constructor or a setter. But let's see how we could do the same thing with constructor-based injection. So obviously we would have to introduce a, a constructor would, that would take both of these fields okay and uh, you know and that's basically how this would be uh, called so just to make sure that this class is actually being invoked um, let's um, you know write something here to standard output okay and let's run the same test and see what we get so notice that generic service has been called okay which proves that the cons this constructor has actually been invoked okay so um, the other way the third way that you can do dependency injection uh, is with uh, you know 
a property based or setters in Java. Okay, so let's remove this constructor and let's insert, um, you know, a setters and get them. So we have the set do and we have the set logger. Okay, again, let's um, print some uh, setter, some logging here to make sure that this thing is actually being invoked by Mokito. Run and see what we get. So notice that set do and set logger have been invoked and our test passed. So the way the at inject mocks uh, resolves the, uh, you know, the dependency injection uh, fields is by type. But what happens if you have, you know, like in this case where I enhanced the service class where you have the same field, or I should say two different fields with the same type, okay? So I've enhanced this to make the example a little bit more complicated here. Um, and notice that now the generic service is using an out logger that logs to standard output, okay? Whereas the error logger is logging to system.error, okay? Uh, the same string. Now, how am I going to, you know, inject, uh, you know, the uh, one out logger and a one error logger here? And in a way that I know which one is which so that I can do a verification here. So if I run this just like that, you know, obviously it's not going to work because I have only one instance of a uh, logger. Okay, so there is a null pointer exception here because Mokito does not know, you know, which logger to use. So um, let's create, you know, let's do the first attempt to solve this problem, which is create another logger. So obviously we need two logger uh, services. So, you know, one naive way to solve this, now I have two different fields with the same name. So let's just call this is one and this is two. And obviously I'm using one of them. So perhaps let's just do, okay, the first one. Let's try to do this and see what happens. So notice that I still have a problem because, you know, Mokito is still not able to resolve these mocks. So what happens is the types are matching, but then, you know, Mokito doesn't know which one should map to which. The way to solve this is to, that to resolve this conflict is to use the name. So the mock annotation takes a name and you would give the name of the field, okay, that you are um, you know, expecting to map to in the target class. Okay. So we have an out logger and we have an error logger. Okay. So you can still call it logger one, logger two, it doesn't really matter. So then the logger one is the one that, you know, um, is going to be mapped to. So the out logger is the one that uses out log. And we can always verify, you know, that the call to the second one, uh, you know, log to error. Okay, so let's run this and make sure that it works. And as you can see, it passes. Okay, so there are a few limitations on the inject mocks. So inject mocks does not work with inner classes, static inner classes, abstract classes, or interfaces. And the fields that are being injected cannot be final nor static. So if you do have that, be aware that you know, Mokito just silently ignores those fields and don't use them. Okay. So this concludes the lesson on the uses of uh, the at inject mocks annotation. This is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.